Hi everyone. I'm happy you could join me today. I thought we would do an 8x10 collage. Now this is um, gallery, uh, gallery, gallery <laughs> wood panel. Nice thick sides. This is uh, appropriate for acrylics, for oils, for mixed media. I don't know how deep that side is. It's probably well over an inch, about an inch and a half. So, always very attractive. So what I'm going to use, uh, I will put in the description the company names. These papers are from Etsy, from Froyle. I love her work. Her work is gorgeous. And her papers are also gorgeous. So, yeah. So I bought the, bought these printables. And this is sort of a red, black, and white theme. So in keeping with those, I'm going to choose a paper from this uh, new pad that I got just this morning. And it's going to be, you know, obviously one of the red. I'm thinking maybe this one, but I haven't decided. Um, the red and the cream goes nicely with uh, these papers that are the digital papers and possibly some of this deep red for a bit of background. So, yeah, everything will be in the description. So just wanted to give you a heads up on what we'll do today and what I'll be using. And what I do like to do before I do my collage is I like to paint the sides black. It just, to me, makes your, not in all cases, but in many situations, makes your collage just that much, a little bit more sophisticated maybe. I don't know what the word is, but a little more polished and professional looking. Now, in some cases, if I was using some light colors, I might leave that as it is. Or, in some cases, I would uh, bring my papers over to the sides and have, uh, you know, designs on the side also. But for today's purpose, I'm going to paint this black with acrylic paint. And, yeah, go from there. So let me paint that and then we'll come back. Okay, so my cradle board is painted on the sides. Just some flat black acrylic paint. And I've basically made a decision of the papers that I want to put into this collage. Some for Froyle Art uh, digi digital papers that I've uh, printed out. Some papers from my stash that I got today. And yeah, I might throw some paper in that I've made myself. So we'll see. Now I'm going to start off with this deep red and I think I'm just going to tear a nice sized piece of this to get me started. Now you're going to decide, depending on the thickness of your paper, what you want to use um, as a glue. I would suggest either Mod Podge or, you know, PVA glue or um, glue stick. Today I'm using glue stick because this paper is, while not really thin, it's not particularly thick either. It's not as thick as cardstock, so I think I'll stick with something that's not too liquidy like this uh, glue stick. Just have to make sure that I get lots of glue down especially around the edges. Okay, that's quite a bit. I think we're okay there. And just just to get us started here. Where's my good old there it is. my gift card. 
this really helps the uh, the paper to adhere to the substrate. This being my cradle board. Okay, that's a good start. Another rather large piece, I think, will be this uh, B paper. And I think I will maybe start off with a piece down at the bottom. Yeah, that looks good to me, except I'll do it this way. Yeah. Sometimes it's just a matter of a feel. I picked colors already to work on this collage that I think complement each other and work well together. So I don't have to do too much thinking when I decide what to put down where. Okay. So let's put this down. Now this we're just working on our background for now. Okay, now we could use another piece up here, which I think I will do. Small piece here. Bad habit, me gluing on right on my work. Really bad habit. I'm going to try to break that habit at some point. <laughs> Okay, lining it up with my edges. And you'll find the glue sticks just malleable enough to do a bit of movement, you know, a bit of moving around. Okay, now what else do we want for our background? Uh, maybe bring in, I have several pieces here of this digital paper. I think what I'll do at this point is start to audition and see where I'm going to uh, imagine in my mind what I'm going to bring down. That's nice. Not too many circles. Maybe a piece of this. Maybe on the edge. Okay. We're just taking a look now at... Uh, might bring in a bit of this. Let's just tear off... A wee bit and see how we might work this. Uh, this might work better over here. Hmm, let me see. Maybe I'm trying to incorporate a little bit too much of. Uh, Froyle's paper in here. I might just stick with this one piece. This one's or this one. No, this one feels like the right one to me. So I think I need a little more background and let's see how this looks. No, it's too busy. This down here probably works the best. 
but I do need something more here. So, I don't know that I want another piece of this. Maybe a smaller piece down here. And some people like to have the little white edges here. I'm not too crazy about that, so I try to avoid it somewhat. Maybe I'll put this under here. Okay. Now we have to decide what we want to do here. And I'm not sure I like this whole piece here. I, I think I'm going to just bring it down. Yeah, that's a little better. It just seemed too contrived to have that whole bottom band there the way it was. So, okay, that feels okay. Now we still have to, and I don't want this right in the middle. I mean, we could, but... I prefer to put things off center. So maybe we just need some more. Nope, not working. I think we need another design here. So maybe, maybe, baby, I. Wonder. Nope. Too much. Okay. I have a couple of my own pieces here. Don't like this sort of an orange. Not crazy about that. This might work. Let's see. If we bring this here. A lot of jibber jabber, isn't it? <laughs> I'm getting tired of hearing my own voice. Let's see. Is this the piece? No. Here we have it. Now that could work. If I bring that there and this here, that's a possibility that we have to bring something a little darker up here too. Let's uh, try that. Let's do that. Let's put this down. So that's good. I have some of mine, some of Froyles, and some um, scrapbook paper I got online. And I will put in the description the company names in case you decide you want to do the same sort of collage or you know you can do a smaller version make a card face or journal page or you know two journal pages for that matter okay i want that little bit of green to show more than i want this to show so going to put it this way. There we have it. Where's my... Now if you find you've put a piece down, see this little tiny square here? I don't worry about those things. I can fill that in with a with a uh, sharpie um, in black and just fill it, fill it, fill it in. So, okay, we were looking at this down here. Yeah, down here. I don't like this because it's too many sharp lines. So I think I will stick with this down here, but I need something underneath. So, uh, I was going to put this down, wasn't I? Let's put that down. Now, 
Now what you can do is you can audition the whole thing and lay it out, take a picture of it, and then come back and, uh, you know, fulfill your... your dreams, <laughs> you know, do your collage in the manner that you had uh, done for the picture. Or you could do like I'm doing today and just go for the gusto. Just go for it. I'm not liking this square here either, either so. Yeah, that's better. So we have a we're having a beautiful fall so far here. It's about I don't know, probably about seventeen or eighteen degrees Celsius out there. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Eighteen thirty six fifty something. Eighteen thirty six forty six no sixty something low sixties I would say. Okay, so about like that. Now you could have a little bit here that you're going to cut off or sand off. I often sand up the edges of my um, work. And I also have this washi tape I want to incorporate in this. So that could go here and here, if that's what we choose. If that's what we choose to do. Okay, where's my little... I have to pay attention to where I put this. <laughs> I throw it down and then I have no idea where it is next time I need it. I like that there. It just sort of softens up my my collage. Okay, now we're going to go with this piece. And like I said, I don't like to put it directly in the center. I'm trying to decide if I'm happy with it like that or if I need to... Um, I think I'm just going to tear the edges like this. Sometimes it's appropriate to use, you know, the sharper edges. And sometimes you just don't feel like doing that. This is one of those I don't feel like doing that times. So the same could be said for all sides and the bottom I want to keep most of this feather look so if you get a chance check out Royal Art uh, she's got a phenomenal imagination and just such an eye for collage, creating papers, and, and she did like to listen to too. She has one of those laughs that make you laugh. Just so much joy and pleasure comes out from her laugh. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's do that. I'm glad I took the edges off. Oh, yeah, let's start today um, with using something to glue on instead of gluing on my work. Let's just uh, such a bad habit. Okay. About here, I think. No, nope, I don't want to line it up with this too much. So I'm going to bring it over just a wee bit. So, a little bit off center. A little bit to the right. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing right some good. Okay, I wouldn't mind bringing a little more of this in. So, I'm going to tear a little piece off. I'm 
I love bumblebees. I love bumblebees in patterns. To me, it's just lovely. Just write something nice. We in Nova Scotia actually say things are so nice. <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> if you're really into it, you're going to say, let's write some nights. <laughs> That's a little bit too small, I think. It's, you don't want, I don't like little tiny pieces like this. It's just too, uh, it's just too doddering. I don't know. I don't even think that's a word. Okay, let's try a larger piece and see. We'll see how I feel. Yeah, I feel a little better about that. Yep. Because we're sort of focused over here. And we want our eye, or somebody else's eye, to be able to roll over this collage in a manner that's pleasing. You know, so that it's not, your eye isn't going up and down like this. It's just nice transition from one area to another. And, uh, not too many sharp lines. Now these are, this is all my theory. Okay, I'm liking this. I think we might be okay, other than, do I want another little piece of Froyle's paper in here? No, I don't think. I think we're doing good. Maybe. Maybe. Well, that's, oh, I hate tearing up the paper. I love the paper so much. <laughs> I hate to tear it. Okay, well. Mm. Now, definitely I would get rid of this line. Uh, okay. What do you got it for, Sherry? If not to use. I'm sure I'm not the only one out there that hoards the paper they love just don't want to use it yeah you know it's just so beautiful but it's uh, hard to rip up okay I'm taking away this sharp edge down at the bottom that's about the size I want to I think okay Hmm. Yeah, I think we have to go that way. We have got a lot going this way. So let's, let's tear this a little bit so I don't have that white edge. And let's just, yeah, I like that. It's so pleasing when you put something down and it works. It makes you feel good. A little glob of... Uh, there we go. Oh, I did it again. Working off of my, uh, okay, working off of my collage. Not cool. It's not cool. Okay. You know what? That's a little bit too close to this so I'm going to tear it there better that's better okay yeah that's much better it came down too far it looked like it was joining this piece which is not what I was going for. Okay. 
All right, I'm liking that. I'm quite happy with that. Now I want to incorporate some of this washi tape just for uh, another pattern. Uh, add a little more dimension, a little more interest to our piece. Let's cover over our Yep, and we have this, which I think, I'm not sure, we'll see. Let's uh, try a piece. Maybe. I won't rub it in too hard. I'll just lay it down for now. How do I feel about that? <coughs> Excuse me. It's pretty bright. But it does lighten up. Hmm, not sure. Should I use another pattern? <coughs> Excuse me. That's nice. Just black. Let's just lift this off for now. <coughs> Sorry. And to bring this piece of uh, this dark piece down, see how we feel. <coughs> so I did decide that I wanted that piece of uh, washi tape here, um, but I'm feeling like I've got some pretty strong lines here, so I want something a little more along here and I was looking at another piece of Froyle's paper that might be a little too busy and I also considered some of my paper which way if I got that like this um, and that sort of worked but it was a little stark the white was just that much whiter than this so that threw me off a little bit um, and then there's this, if I tore a little piece of that, that could work. Um, that'd be kind of nice, I think. Yeah. Um, and then there's this. Oh, that works too, I like this gold. This is another piece of Froyle's paper. Let's just tear this and hope we like it. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I don't like the sharp edge there, so I'm going to tear it again on the other side too. Losing a bit of our gold dots here, but it was just too uh, sharp to me. And tear the top. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, just it feels like it needs that, I think. Just one or Oh, maybe here. Yeah, I think down here. Just to break this up a little bit. Okay. So be a good doobie. Where's my flyer paper okay again not directly in the center a little bit leaning toward the left and I think we might be done we are okay what I do now I have such a mess around me oh it's disturbing um, I'm gonna clean up some of this mess <laughs> I can't stand it I don't know how I, you know I admire people that can work around a mess I just can't it just throws me off throws my psyche off 
So, okay, I'm going to clean up a bit of this mess and then we're going to come by, back and sand off our sides. Okay, so I've cleaned up my mess. I feel much better now, thank you. <laughs> I uh, have a little fine sandpaper here, fine grit. And what I like to do with my collages is just clean up the edges with my sandpaper. And this um, sort of helps the paper to incorporate onto the, you know, uh, onto the cradle board. So you don't have to worry about any little edges lifting up at any point. Now, I haven't seen people do collages and finish off their work like this. I mean, there may be people out there doing this. I just, I watch hundreds of hours of videos and I haven't seen people do this. But, you know, I suggest it's a good idea. It's just, uh, like I said, makes the paper uh, a smooth transition between the edge of your paper and the edge of your cradle board or your canvas, whatever you're choosing to uh, use as a substrate. So those are my edges. Now what I also like to do is take a Stabilo pencil, which is an oil-based pencil, and come along the edges of my collage. Now this is activated with water, so as soon as I get this down, Again, this is just to uh, make sure everything's, you know, a smooth, a smooth look on the edges too. You can use a Q-tip, watered water on a Q-tip. You can use a water brush. I personally just stick my finger in my mouth, <laughs> on my tongue, and away I go. Now to me also this helps to finish a piece. It just, uh, you know, blends your papers in with your substrate. So, I don't know, maybe you folks are doing this anyway. I don't know if people are, I haven't noticed people doing this either. Especially, you know, using a Stabilo or to create this sort of uh, framework. I just like how it looks. And then it blends into the black of the paint on the side. Oops, I lifted that paper now. That happens. That happens sometimes. And there we have it. Now, I haven't decided if I'm going to resin the top of this or just use varnish. I uh, will definitely put varnish on the start. I use Kmar varnish. Spray a couple of coats of Kmar varnish to protect your piece. If nothing else, um, it sort of helps everything to, it seems to help it to adhere to the, that may be in my mind, <laughs> but it lifts the, uh, colors up. It gives you a little bit more of a 3D effect. gives you more dimension. And it also protects your, your work. So in the future, if you need to dust, it will uh, protect your work from any dust or, you know, so you could take a duster and just clean it off. Um, I'm not going to make you listen to me shaking this. You have to shake this, for, you know, two or three minutes. Make sure it's all mixed well couple of sprays of Kmar varnish and maybe I'll do that and then come back and show you how it looks and then at some point I may decide to um, 
finish this off with resin. Uh, yeah, haven't decided. So, yeah, I'm going to spray that with the Kmart varnish and then come back and we'll say goodbye. Okay, so here we have it. This is, uh, I put two coats of uh, the Kmart varnish on and it gives it, you know, a slight sheen, very light. If you don't like it, any sheen at all, you can also use this low odor clear matte finish from Krylon. And, or if you like more of a shine, more of a sheen, you can use a high gloss varnish from Liquitex. Um, if you're not into resin, I would suggest resin has the nicest finish because it's a glass like finish. But resin's hard to work with, it's quite toxic. So you need to be careful with resin. So if you're not into resin, maybe the high gloss varnish, or maybe you like it just as it is. So that's it for today, folks. Um, <laughs> I sound like Mary Melodies. <laughs> that's all, folks. <laughs> yeah, if uh, you enjoyed that, I really appreciate a thumbs up. Always a delight to see when somebody gives you a like. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And as I said, you could always finish the sides, bring your papers down over the side if you choose. Give it a little bit more interest or do as I did and just paint it black and then come along with the stabilo on the edges. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you haven't subscribed, today would be a great day to do that. And I'll see you folks on the next one. Bye for now.